All right, so let's look at the other method of uh, treating kidney failure. <clears throat> the other one is do, uh, using your what, a kidney machine or the dialysis what a machine. So we can also treat kidney failure using what a dialysis what machine. Now this is the inside of the dialysis what machine. You have a pump there. You have blood coming from a patient's vein. Then we have a bubble tap here, blood to patient's vein, just like that. Now, this kidney machine contains uh, very thin tubes uh, called the dialysis what tube, which carries what the blood from the vein, also the blood where to the patient's what. Uh, then it's usually long and coiled as you can see that it's some form of coiling there's a reason why it's coiled the reason why it's coiled like this is to increase the surface area for what for reabsorption of certain what um uh, nutrients that are important to the patient All right it also increases the surface area for diffusion not really absorb reabsorption, but also diffusion of certain what substances such as the uh, urea, uh, water, and uh, what and the uh, plasma what plasma proteins. Now, this tube that you are seeing here, which is coiled, it's usually thin and what is selective what permeable. Why is it thin and selective permeable? The more uh, it, it is thin, one is to increases also the surface area for what for diffusion and another reason why it's also selective pimple why is that it doesn't it does not just allow any any substance to leave or enter what the bloodstream so it has to be selective so it has to choose what enters the bloodstream and what does not enter the bloodstream now because it is small in size it only allows small molecules all right small molecules to do what to diffuse out these molecules can be glucose okay urea uh, salt and what <coughs> and uh, and water these are able to pass but the other molecules cannot pass for example blood uh, bl uh, blood cells and uh, plasma proteins those are bigger in size so it's got that uh the can't the can't pass but if you if you've seen here there's blood coming from a vein also blood going to the vein why did they choose a vein not an artery it's only simple a vein carries what contaminated blood blood that is what contaminated for example is it is rich in carbon dioxide and other unwanted substances such as urea uh, etc Another reason is that the blood flowing through the uh, the vein is under low pressure. It's controlled by the valves that are found in a vein. So blood will be fl uh, flowing under what under uh, under low pressure. In short, at easy. The more blood flows at easy, the more it it creates time for the absorption and the diffusion to do what to occur. So that the necessary substances can be absorbed back, and other substances can also do what diffuse in and what and out. Now we look at this dialysis machine. For this uh, to work, a patient must be connected at least eight hours, all right, twice a week. So you'll be connected to this dialysis machine for eight hours, at least twice a week. Therefore, it has got advantages and what and disadvantages at the same time. Let's say you're a school-going child, and you have to be connected eight hours twice a week that is also eating up on your school time it's also quite expensive to 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 have this treatment be done whether at your own place or at a hospital especially in these developing countries so this is how this dialysis water machine uh works